Hey guys, welcome to A Journey in Light. Um, we got another pick a card video for you. So today is just a quick guidance video. Um, it's kind of just overall general guidance. I don't recall what's in these piles. I pick them ahead of time um, and kind of review them during the video because I don't want to get any mixed messages over time. I just you know kind of do that then. So we can get right into it. Um, don't forget, I'm doing a giveaway for all my subscribers, so make sure you're subscribed. So if you're not, pause real quick, subscribe, and then make sure you comment on my videos for entries, and I will be picking a person on the first day of next month, um, or the first couple days of next month, and um, giving a um, free personal tarot reading on any subject of your choice. So. Our tarot oracle card reading. So we have three piles. We have one, two, and three. So pile one, we have this cool little shell. I tend to have shells a lot because I live close to the beach. Then I have this rose quartz. It's kind of for your face, actually. But I thought it was kind of a cool shape. It kind of looks like a heart. And then I have this really awesome um, butterfly that's made out of tiger's eye. And then tiger's eye and quartz. So I've had this since I was a teenager, and I'm pretty old. So let's say I've had this for probably close to 15 years. Oh, no, 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 25 years. Yikes. Okay. Just aged myself a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, so these are your three files. Um, go with whatever one you feel drawn to. If you're drawn to more than one pile, um, you might have messages in more than one. I also, depending on what goes on, I have two other, I have one other oracle deck and a tarot deck that I might pull from. Not sure yet. We're going to do this together. So um, the timestamps will be in the description box below. And I look forward to seeing you at your pile. Thanks, guys. Hey, pile one. All right. So. We're going to jump right into this. Don't forget, I'm doing a giveaway for all my subscribers that comment on my videos. So make sure you're subscribed and comment um, to be entered into a free personal tarot reading. So this is quick guidance. I'm going to pull out some tarot first and then the oracle card section. We're going to just bring them all out. So we have the three of wands in reverse. Ooh, we have the three of swords. And then we have the after tarot for the star. Huh. Okay. I'm going to pull these all out and then we'll go over everything. I have not looked at these beforehand, so it's interesting. We have Hummingbird Spirit, Be Here Now. We have Tolerance. Huh. Okay. We have Get Clear. We have Y, we have Rejuvenation, and Help from Above. All, right, all these are in shot. Let's see. Hmm. So, Guidance for Pile 1, Group 1, Pick a Card 1. Alright, I feel like a lot of you guys right now are feeling a little scatterbrained or maybe very just, we have the hummingbird spirit, so you're feeling very like, what's going on? I feel a very anxious kind of feeling. Um, you're wondering, well, I mean, it goes along with what is going on right now. This is a timeless reading, so I don't want to get too much into what is going on right this time in our country or around the world, but if you're watching this as of this time you will understand so I feel like there's kind of almost a frantic sense of well, what am I doing where are we going what's going on I don't know what to do why is this happening kind of fearful but the overall guidance here is to be here now like stay in the present don't get too far ahead of yourself don't get too far like if you're feeling like you've been very anxious don't get too far ahead of yourself you need to Anytime you start getting, well, why is this happening? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? What are we going to do? That kind of thing. You need to bring yourself back and center yourself and get clear. Um, 
So this kind of looks like she's meditating, but it almost kind of looks like she's maybe reading a book. And then we have this other girl here kind of leaning against a tree. We have some birds and some other faces. I just really feel like you guys need to get centered and it'll help you calm down. And you need to, again, be in the present. That's the biggest overall here, because I feel like there's a lot of different energies going on. Some of you guys might be dealing with a heartbreak or a recent heartache um, or breakup, or you're just scared, like in your heart, you're just afraid of some stuff going on. Um, you know, three of one or three of wands is kind of usually about planning and looking out and figuring out what you want to do. And in reverse, it's like I feel like you guys don't know what you're gonna do. And the overall guidance is there's help from above. You have your angels are looking out for you, and it's okay to just calm. You can't you can't know all the answers right now, but it'll all come to you. You know, you're asking these why, but we also have a book here. So I feel like some of you guys, like, maybe you're not sure how to get calm or what to do right now. There's really not much you can do. So just start working on some knowledge. This card isn't just like the questions. It's also about gaining knowledge. So, you know, take this time to kind of sit back and reflect, learn something, just shift your focus. Um, we also have tolerance. So I feel like there's a call for you guys need to learn to have tolerance for a situation that's going on or being stuck somewhere that you don't want to. You need to flip your mindset and just be tolerant of it and be okay with it. So it says you appreciate other points of others, other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. So when you have tolerance for things, you realize that we're all connected and that everybody has a valid point, regardless if you agree or don't agree, but you need to have tolerance for everyone. And this is the after tarot. So um, this is like the next step in tarot. So the star is a lot about like hope and, you know, blending some stuff. So in this card, she's kind of taking the water that she was pouring into the, the, or taking what she was pouring into the water in the other card and she's pouring onto herself. So I feel that as you guys need to like replenish yourself, take this time and think about what you want to do. We also have rejuvenation. So rejuvenating this spirit will spark a desire to experience the greatness of life. So if you're feeling frantic, just try to stay here now. You know, be in the now. Rejuvenate yourself. You're, anytime you're feeling like you're frantic, just go within. You know, Find a book. Read something. Do something that calms you down and makes you feel more comfortable. Because you can't control what's going on. And... There's a, I watched a, a video recently and it's kind of like a, a Buddhist thought. You know, some people are like <sighs> panicking because it's out of their control. And like a Buddhist thought is relax, it's out of your control. So you know what, there's nothing to f freak out about because you don't have control. It's more of like, well, just relax. It's not, you, you're not in control anyways. So what's the point of getting frantic about it? And trying to figure it all out and just just be calm so all right let's let's get these are the work your light oracles so let's see if we can get any more guidance for pile one um <laughs> yes so if someone's asking you something or you've been thinking about something your answer is yes uh this is really about saying yes to things that are, are you, you know, and only saying things that, that fill your soul and make you feel connected. So just say yes. That's going to be specific for somebody. So if someone's asking a question or you were thinking about this, like, what should I do? The answer is yes. Um, I hope that relates to somebody. So overall, guys, don't lose hope. Just try to quiet yourself. Get clear. Meditate. But I, again, I feel like for this this group, reading something or gaining knowledge that way, and don't just read like everybody's posts and all this back and forth. Just step away from it, get clear, rejuvenate yourself, and just find things that make you happy. Say yes to the things that light you up and fill fills yourself. Like replenish yourself, rejuvenate, and say yes to things that are you. So that is your quick guidance, guys. 
I hope this helps and I look forward to seeing another reading. Make sure you comment on this. Let me know what's going on um, so you can be entered to um, win my free tarot reading. So make sure you're a subscriber because it's only for my lovely, lovely subscribers. And thank you guys so much for being here. Hey, pile two. Okay, so last pile was kind of interesting. I really don't know what's in these, so we're just going with it. Um, so make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you comment for an entry into my giveaway for a free tarot reading. So let's pull. We're going to pull our... Hera first, so we have the her Hierophant in reverse. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the After Tarot, so we have the Six of Swords. We have Loyalty. We have Grateful. We have peace. We have courage. Phoenix rising. And lizard spirit. Dream the world into being. Okay, so kind of get an overall view of all this, guys, for a moment. Again, I, I don't really look at these beforehand. I just pull them just for time's sake. Um, okay. So overall, guys, your biggest thing for you right now is you need to practice gratitude. In practicing gratitude, you guys will find some peace. You are moving into calmer water, so if you feel like things are feeling a little rocky and scary, don't worry that things will be moving into calmer. You'll be getting off this rocky boat. Like if you guys are familiar with Terra, this is after Terra, so this is the, directly what happens after the Six of Swords in the regular Terra, which they are on a boat, these three people, and they're moving to a calmer water, so now they're getting off and going about their travels. So they're moving forward. Um, Okay, and I feel like for some of you guys, money might be a concern right now and what's going on, like, learning-wise, educationally, things like that. Um, so anytime you start to feel a little, like, not knowing what's going on, try to, try to be grateful for the things that you do have. Focus on that, and it will bring you a lot of peace. And if anyone is going through a transition now, you might feel like you're in the middle of a fire, but you are going to become the phoenix rising. So you're going to come out of the ashes of everything that's going on, and you'll be, you know, feeling better. We have this lizard spirit, so it's a dream of dream the world into being. So if you're not familiar with like manifesting or the law of attraction, a lot of us have some extra time right now. Look into that. I feel like you guys are being guided to kind of switch your perspective into a more grateful, peaceful state of being. And a lot of that has to do with understanding the law of attraction and, um, and that you are the manifester of your life. So you can manifest your dreams into the world. Also, you guys are being guided to find some inner courage. Courage is found in the power of the heart's truth. So we also have loyalty, and this card is green, which is the color of the heart chakra. I mean, all the cards have hearts, so I wouldn't just point that out, but we have the color green here, so that it does demonstrate the, the heart chakra. So if you guys have some truths in your heart, that maybe if you guys are feeling like you're not telling the truth about something, maybe it's time to tell your truth. But also we have loyalty, is your reliability demonstrates your loyal sense of devotion and consistency of being. But with this, I'm getting for someone watching this or maybe more than one of you guys that you need to be loyal to yourself and have courage in your own truth. And it's time to speak that and then your dreams will start to manifest. Once you start speaking your truth about what you need in your life, 
if you felt like held down by someone else's beliefs, that it's time to stand up for what you want and you will find inner peace and you are, will be this phoenix rising out of ashes. You might be scared of what this truth could entail, what say, speaking your truth will happen, but just know that it will bring you to the other side of this rocky road, this water, and just remain loyal to yourself and you'll be able to manifest what you want. And it'll pay off, you know, in your material world as well. Yeah, pile two, that's what I'm really, really getting for this. For you guys watching that are in search of peace, it's going to take some courage to speak your truth to possibly to someone that you think that won't want to hear what you have to say. But I think it's going to go okay. And just be grateful for this opportunity. You might be a little fearful, but be grateful for this pause in life that we're in right now because it's going to cause you to restart and reborn, be reborn again. And everything you've been dreaming on the back end that you haven't been speaking will start coming into truth because you've been truthful and honest to yourself and to everyone involved. Yeah, I'm getting that really strong for somebody. If that doesn't resonate, pick a different pile. Um, you know, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, let's pull... Let's pull... These are um, Work Your Light Oracle Cards by Rebecca Campbell. She has an amazing book called Light is the New Black. So if you're interested in being a light worker, it's a book, a book I do suggest. You might have some extra time on your hands right now. Um, it's great on audiobook as well. I tend to do audiobooks because I have so much going on all the time. By the end of the day, I'm tired, and sometimes I just want to listen, <laughs> or if I'm driving or something like that. It's just easier for me to fit it into my day. But let's see. <sighs> yeah, okay. This is really about speaking your truth. So it says, share your voice. Come out of the cave, persecution, expression. So if you feel like you're going to be persecuted by someone for having a different belief, you need to have courage in yourself to speak your truth. You need to share your voice. It's time to step up and become your own phoenix and rise from these ashes and your dreams will start to come true. But do it all with a, with a sense of gratitude and you will find the peace you're looking for. So Pile 2, that's, that's what I'm being guided to say. I hope this helps. I hope this resonates. Um, please like. If this does resonate, comment. Make sure you're subscribed. Um, so I can... Sorry. <laughs> My brain is kind of fried. Um, make sure you're um, a subscriber. So you can be entered into my... Um, my giveaway for a free personal tarot reading of any subject of your choice and that's for my subscribers so thanks guys I'll see you in another video hey 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 pile three alright the last two piles have been totally different from each other so I'm really interested to see what comes up in this one um, I do these are one of my favorite videos to do I know I do a lot of loved ones but the quick guidance just it's just fun, good, quick thing to think about. So um, I think I have a couple more, you know, I at least have two, maybe three more on my channel. So they're timeless. If you do enjoy this reading, go back and watch the other ones. Make sure you're subscribed and that you comment on my videos so you can um, be entered into my personal tarot reading giveaway um, that I will be announcing the winner at the beginning of next month. And um, yeah, so let's get started. Again, this is a very... Tiger's Eye was always one of my favorites growing up, and a, a friend got this for me when they were on vacation when I was in high school, and I just always loved it. I, I love that one, so, yeah, it's very special to me. All right, so let's see, we have the Page of Pentacles. Hmm, Five of Wands, all right. Hmm, we have the Two of Cups. This is the after tarot. So this is like the picture of what directly happens after the original Two of Cups. Alright, we have Unity. We have Change. I don't know how I want to arrange these, these are just coming up. We have Positive-Minded People. 
We have blessed. We have rejection. And we have beaver spirit. Lay a solid foundation. Let me move all these over a tiny bit so they're all in screen. All right, let me, I don't really, I pull all these just for timing because I have so many different cards I like to use. So let me kind of just sit here for a moment, guys, and see what I'm getting. Okay, so for this thing, for this for this thing, sorry. For pile three, um, I feel like your biggest thing is is change in a good way. So expand your flexibility for change and you'll enjoy the vitality of life ahead. I feel like some of you guys may feel like you're in a, a struggle or a battle, but I almost feel like it might be a little bit of an inner battle. Like you're defending yourself, everything's kind of working, you feel like things are working against you guys. Um, rejection, I mean, some of you guys, again, this is general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't, don't try to make things fit. But um, some of you guys might have been feeling rejected. She does have a uh, medallion here with the heart chakra. But I almost feel like this is almost a call to reject the things that aren't you. Think, reject the things that aren't true to your heart is what I'm more hearing with this group. That it's time to like really sink in to what everything that is you and to change. There is change, but you need to find flexibility and change. We have unity. So you understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. So this also is a really love kind of pile, except for, I mean... Yeah, we have the rejection, but I feel like this, you guys as a group, really are positive-minded people who just understand that when you give with a loving heart, it might just feel like you're just giving it to one person, but it expands. Like we have this cat coming up and, and curling up next to them, these lovers in this card that have shared love with each other. And even if you've been rejected, it doesn't mean you need to harden your heart. You can still give love. And if you did give your cup of love to someone else and they rejected you, just know that there's still a ripple effect that goes through everything. I'm also being guided to say that be mindful of who you're hanging out with. If you feel like you've been spending too much time, and I know some of us can't help who we're spending time with at the moment, um, with negative-minded people, to start searching out more positive-minded people. Like that is, yeah, a message that's coming through. So even if you can just only connect with, you know, people or things on like social media, you know, be mindful of what you're watching. If you're getting caught up in like all this, like people back and forth and, you know, reading comments and all this stuff, switch your focus. If that makes you feel like you're almost like in a struggle, switch your focus to more positive minded things you know, start following like really positive hashtags on Instagram. So it makes your whole feed, instead of filling up with all this craziness, just follow things that make you smile. Follow things that you're interested in. Um, you can adjust that and you'll see your feeds change. You can just like hashtag positive quotes, hashtag positivity, hashtag inner healing, hashtag something to do with decorations, whatever you're interested in. There's so many different things you can follow and your feed will start filling up more with positive things that you like. And you'll, you'll, when you shift your focus, that has a huge change. And to know that you guys are blessed. You do have a team of beings that are looking out for you and angels. So, like, not to fear too much. And just try to be more flexible. But also, spend this time laying a foundation. Like, so if you do have some time off, you're not sure what you want to do, then... Start laying a solid foundation for when things get back to normal so you're in a better step for where you want to be. Yeah, I'm feeling like, you know, if you have a chance to learn something that you've been wanting to learn or build something that will help you in the future, you're being guided to do that as well. Or even build a foundation within, like, a relationship or build stronger foundations or build friendships with like-minded people. And I still see, like, I don't really feel like this rejection 
is someone rejecting you. I feel like this is a, just reminding you to reject things that aren't you. And just try to be flexible, guys. You know, everybody, you know, try to look at things with love. Don't let the conflict get the best of you. Share your heart. I feel like this group has a really, really good heart. Really kind. So just sometimes, just because someone else sucks doesn't mean you have to kind of thing. You know, not everybody will understand your heart, but it doesn't mean you can't share it anyways because there is a ripple effect and it affects everything. And with everything going on, we definitely need a lot more love than fear going on. So just remember to keep your mindset really positive and uh, just go with the flow, accept changes, and just know that everything will be okay. Um, I'm going to pull an oracle card for you guys. This is from the Work Your Light Oracle by um, Rebecca Campbell. It's, um, she has a book called Light is, Light is the New Black. It's a really, really great book, so if you have some extra time, you know, Pick that up or pick it up on audiobook if you don't feel like reading and you have other stuff to do and you can listen as you're getting housework done or organizing, whatever it is that everybody's doing right now. Um, so let's see. For group three, pile three, it's a lovely butterfly of transformation. It's kind of funny. We have you know, the butterfly here and then this change. We got a lot of butterflies in this card too. So that I feel like that's important. We have a lot of wings. We have wings here, wings, wings. Yeah, okay. Oop. All right, we got three cards. I'm gonna go with all three of them. So the crumbling, what are you clinging to? So this is an advice if you're holding on, trying to hold something together that doesn't need to go any together. Like you can see how dark this is and then how beautiful the world is behind it. That, you know, sometimes a crumbling of even society, I know it might seem scary right now, but there needs to sometimes things to crumble and things to change for the beauty of the world to shine back through. Birthing a new age, birthing a new creations, dreaming a new world into being. You know, I, I think that this overall shift is going to be good. I know there's a lot of still bad, scary things happening and no one wants anyone to be hurt or whatever. I shouldn't say whatever. I don't, I'm not downplaying this. Um, but some of the stuff I, you know, unfortunately, I don't know if I want to get into all that, but I just think that there's going to be some positive stuff coming out of this really kind of scary time. And then we have the age of light. You've been training for this for a lifetime. So we may have some star seeds, some healers, some light workers watching this and just know that it's your time to shine, that you are truly blessed. Um, stick with the people that are like-minded, grow that community of friends you have and start working your light. So, all right, pile three, I hope this helps. This is just a quick little guidance. I do try to do these at least once a week. I do have some other ones and I have a playlist for my quick guidance. If you did enjoy this, they are timeless. Feel free to pick whatever one you're drawn to. Don't forget to subscribe and to comment to be entered into my drawing for or my giveaway for um, a free personal reading. And I'll be picking that person at the beginning of next month. All right, guys, thanks again for being here with me. I really appreciate it. Um, I love offering guidance. Hopefully it resonated and uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much.